The Sunday Holy Mass will be telecast live from the Verbum TV Chapel, Tevatta. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers, my sisters, as all we have gathered here to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us ask pardon for everything that we have done against our Father. This season is the season of grace and season of happiness. Why do I say that? Because during this season, it is obvious that we have been invited by the Holy Mother Church to repent, to turn back to God. So my brothers, my sisters, let us pause for a while and ask pardon for everything that we have done against our Father. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Land, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Jesus Christ, and by the worthy conduct perceive their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, The priest shall take the basket from your hand and set it down before the altar of the Lord your God. And you shall make response before the Lord your God. A wandering Aramean was my father, and he went down to Egypt and sojourned there, few in number, and there he became a nation, great, mighty, and populous. And the Egyptians treat us harshly, afflicted us, and laid upon us hard bondage. Then we cried to the Lord, God of our fathers, and the Lord heard the voice and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. And the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. With great terror, 
with signs and wonders and he brought us into the into this place and gave us this land a land flowing with milk and honey and behold now i bring the first fruit of the fruit of this ground which thou o lord has given us and you shall set it down before the lord your god and worship before the lord your god the word of god thanks be to god your response be with me o lord in my distress be with me o lord in my distress he who dwells in the shelter of the most high and abides in the shade of the almighty says to the lord my refuge my stronghold my god in whom i trust be with me o lord in my distress upon you no evil shall fall no plague approach where you dwell for you has he has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways be with me o lord in my distress they shall bear you upon their hands lest you strike your foot against a stone on the lion and the viper you will tread and trample the young lion and the dragon be with me o lord in my distress his love he sets on me so i will rescue him protect him for he knows my name when he calls i shall answer i am with you i will save him in distress and give him glory be with me o lord in my distress a reading from the letter of st paul to romans the creed of the christian what does scripture say the word is near you on your lips and in your heart because if you confess with your lips that jesus is lord and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead you will be saved for man believes with his heart and so he justified and he confesses with his lips and so he is saved the Christ- scripture says no one who believes in him will be put to shame for there is no distinction between jew and greek the same lord is the lord of all and bestows his riches upon all who call upon him for every one who calls upon the name of the lord will be saved the word of the lord thanks be to god glory and praise to you lord jesus christ glory and praise to shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god glory and praise to you lord jesus christ glory and praise to The 
Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit through the wilderness, being tempted there by the devil for forty days. During that time, he ate nothing. At the end, he was hungry. Then the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to turn into a loaf. But Jesus replied, The scripture says, Man does not live on bread alone. Then leading him to a height, the devil showed him in a moment of time all the kingdoms of the world and said to him, I will give you all this power and glory of these kingdoms, for it has been committed to me, and I give it to anyone I choose. Worship me, then, and it shall be all be yours. But Jesus answered him, Scripture says, You must worship the Lord your God and serve him alone. Then he led him to Jerusalem and made him stand on the parapet of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said to him, throw yourself down from here. For scripture says, he will put his angels in charge of you to guard you. And again, they will hold you up on their hands in case you hurt your foot against a stone. But Jesus answered him, it has been said, you must not put the Lord your God to the test. Having exhausted all these ways of tempting him, the devil left him to return at the appointed time. My brothers, my sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. So my Brothers, my sisters, in today's liturgy of the word, it is obvious, it is very clear, the message. The message, if I want to summarize into few words, the message is that Jesus is asking us to be filled with the Holy Spirit or by the Holy Spirit in order to overcome the temptations of this world, the temptations that are belong to this world. My brothers, my sisters, let us try to understand the scripture contextually. So, we have come to know that Jesus is driven into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit. So my brothers, my sisters, he has to undergo therefore a period of testing. This is not to convince himself in order to, in order to preach or in order to bear witness to the whole world that I am a son of God or I am the son of God. It is not the case. The reality is Jesus is fighting inside of him in order to convince, convince himself that he is the son of God. How do I say that and why do I say that? This testing reveals therefore the character of our Lord. These particular temptations, these every, every, everything of this reading uh, show us, they show us the character of Christ Lord Jesus. Now like the concrete is tested, he has to be tested. Like automobiles are tested before they give the trial. Son of God, Lord Christ Jesus, need to be tested. Like soldiers are tested, he is being tested. Why? We, we may ask the question, why is that? The reason is, the answer to the question that we face, what is then the answer? My brothers, my sisters, the answer is, 
by being human we cannot say that we we cannot say that since we are human since we are fragile we cannot overcome the temptations we are not supposed to say that but still by overcoming them all jesus says as humans fragile human beings we are also appointed and anointed by the holy spirit to overcome the temptations so what what do we need to do do they are for my brothers my sisters we need to develop a very very deep a relationship with the father with the father who is in heaven it is making our relationship conceivable or in other words we need to understand we are called to reconnect the disconnected sonship or daughtership one day while he was begging a beggar entered into a shop where they sold musical instruments instead of giving some money the great master uh, the musician the owner of the musical instrument showroom gave him a broken violin given the broken violin the musician the great master said to the beggar go sell this violin earn some money out of this and it will help you to earn your daily bread said the great master so the poor beggar stood in the middle of the town and began to cry out i am going to sell this violin who is going to buy this violin for me since the beggar was unnoticeable nobody cared nobody recognized him and his cry but the great master was observing him he was looking at him very very carefully but at the end of the day it was time for them to close down the town and they all began to move away from the town then it was the time for the great master to inaugurate something so he walked towards the beggar and he asked the violin back then he cleansed the violin retuned it made the strings well and started to play they all heard the great performance of the great master the people who were about to leave the town turned back towards the master and uh, flocked around him the word is spread all throughout the town they heard that that great master is performing after a very long time the people who went away from the town came towards the town once again after a little while it was a multitude of a crowd they all forgot what was happening because the rhythm spoke to their hearts the tune overwhelmed them they were like hypnotized by the music of the great master so my brothers my sisters he finished his performance at late night as about to leave the place as about to walk toward his shop among the crowd one shouted great master give this violin to me i am going to give you 2 dollars because all throughout the day the beggar was shouting out there in that i am going to sell this violin for 2 dollars somebody who heard the beggar said to the master here is the 2 dollars give the violin to me among the crowd a young man shouted no great master i will pay 5 dollars somebody said 10 dollars a young mother said i will pay you 20 dollars old man said no i will give you 50 somebody said 100 the storyteller says they sold says that they sold the violin for 250 dollars many many years ago it happened in a remote town in the states of america so they began to tell this story generation by generation the story continued to be told my brothers my sisters 
The storyteller asks a question from everybody who reads the story. What was the root cause of that reaction of the people? But the same violin in two different occasions, two different reactions were given. Why is that? What is the, what is the secret behind that? Same violin, same place, but two different people, two different kinds of reactions. The reason is the violin received the touch of the great master. When you receive the touch of your master, Christ Jesus, you begin to receive the original self of you, the intended soul and body of body the body which was created by god will be given to you or in other words my brothers my sisters you will receive the sonship the right to say abba will be given to you you become a son you become a daughter through those temptations, Jesus is trying to tell us, once you make your connection with the Father, you will be empowered by the Holy Spirit in order to overcome all kinds of temptations, incapabilities, disability of that beggar was faded away uh, and, and the violin was faded away by the touch of the Master. It is so obvious that broken, unnoticed violin was, was transformed into a situation where the violin was accepted by everybody. The touch. When you receive the baptism, my brothers, my sisters, you began to receive the touch of your great master. In today's gospel, he is inviting you to receive the same touch. So that, is, that touch is given to you through testing. You will be tested in your wilderness, in your desert as he was tested and as he was led by the Holy Spirit. So therefore, testing reveals your character too. Now Jesus is driven into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit, said I a few minutes ago. Holy Spirit is the one who led Yeshua Hanasareth, Jesus Christ, into the wilderness, but not to the temptation. Likewise, you will be led by the Holy Spirit to the place where you will be tested. And if you want to overcome all kinds of testing, you need to equipped with the power of the Holy Spirit. You need to be tested. Now, my brothers, my sisters, let us notice the condition of the testing. The testing was rigorous in its surrounding. Your testing will be also the same. In the wilderness, it is isolated. No help is nearby. Help is not there for you as you wish. He, ha he had no food. He was hungry, as Matthew records, 4-2, Luke 4-2. He was with the wild bees. He was alone. You will be left alone to overcome your testing. You need to prove that you are a son or a daughter of God by overcoming the rigorousness of this world by the power of the Holy Spirit. So therefore, my brothers, my sisters, he was with the wild bees and you will be also. He was alone, you will be also. The testing was rigorous in its duration. When you pray to God, sometimes you say, where are you, God? Can't you hear my voice? This is your prayer. Your time is not his time. My time is not his time. So therefore, testing was rigorous in its duration, 40 days. It may be for 40 years for you. Perhaps not so significant until we realize the testing was rigorous in its intensity. This is seen in the administ administrator of the test, the Holy Spirit. 
this is seen in us also and also in the test themselves let us notice the test like as this now command stones to become bread is easier instant provision speaks about test start but the wise verse is the test of submission cast himself down from the temple it is if it is if it is done it is for the instant fame it would be serve only to glorify the self but jesus did not do that bow down and rule over the kingdoms so it speaks about instant power quick and very easy jesus way is not the quick and easy way instant gratification is not our aim our motto so therefore my brothers let us notice the results the certification the certification will not grow weary in well doing galatians 6:9 so my brothers my sisters it will not accept the stands of man matthew 15:9 cannot be bought at the same time will not deviate from the father's will matthew 7:21 to 23 matthew 26:42 so likewise once you decide to make yourself available to god you will become a person who will overcome the temptations of this world so therefore my brothers my sisters it is time for us to receive the power of the holy spirit during this graceful season let us pause for a while let us ask that grace through the power of the holy spirit my brothers my sisters now let us acclaim our faith as a one family i believe in one god the, the father, father almighty, almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light through god from through god begotten not made consubstantial with the father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken to the prophets i believe in one holy catholic apostolic church i confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and i look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen my brothers my sisters now let us offer our intercessions into the hands of our father who is willing to give them all as it pleases him
your response lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer almighty god we pray for the church that the spirit will lead us closer to you and help us remain faithful children of god for this we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer loving father we pray for this community of faith that through our lenten journey we may prepare to renew our profession of faith to the gospel in word and deed for this we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer god our loving father we pray for our country and its people that they may have the strength to carry their daily crosses amidst this national crisis and work with great determination for the common good for all grant wisdom to our leaders to make the right decision and guide our nation out of this predicament for this we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer loving father we pray for these families who sponsored the broadcast of this mass and for those who participating in this mass from their homes that god will fill them with grace and bless them abundantly for this we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for what is we shall pray now, now let us pray for them we make this prayer through christ our lord amen Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and the work of the human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine and the work of the human hands it will become our spiritual drink Blessed be God forever with humble spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by you O Lord and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you O Lord O God wash me O Lord from my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sin pray my brothers my sisters that my sacrifice and use may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church give us the right disposition o lord we pray to make these offerings for with them we celebrate the beginning of the venerable and sacred time through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god 
through Christ our Lord. For by your grace gift each year, your faith will evade the sacred Paschal feast with the joy of minds we made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the whole to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with the angels and archangels, with thorns and dominions, and with all host of powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make therefore holy these gifts, we pray, by sending now spirit upon them the like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks broke it. Give to his disciples, say, and take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of our sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. At this table of remembrance, when we partake body and blood, we proclaim your dead Lord Jesus until you. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of your charity, together with Francis Apo, Malcolm, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the horizon again and all you have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Our mercy on us all we pray with that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Spouse, Blessed Father, Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit, merit to be cohes to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
my brothers my sisters as a one family let us address to our father with the words our savior gave us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said you apostles we say leave you my peace i give you look now since but on the faith of your church and gracious grant of peace and unity in accordance with your will who will live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you Lamb of God you take, you take away, away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace this is the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world this is the lord who directs you to the father who gives you the power of the holy spirit Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion prayer my jesus you are present and alive in the most holy sacrament at this moment i am unable to receive you sacramentally i desire you to come spiritually into my soul o oh my lord jesus come into my heart amen Dwell in the 
let us pray renewed now with heavenly bread by which faith is nourished hope increased and charity strengthened we pray o lord that we may learn to hunger for christ the true and living bread and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you father son and the holy spirit amen holy mass is ended as go in peace and serve the lord thanks be to god Brothers, my sisters, we sincerely thank all the sponsors and their families who sponsored this life mass, and pray that God will bless them abundantly, and to those who participated from their homes. So may good Lord bless you always. God bless you, Father. cast live from the verbum tv chapel devatta